What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, and Nick sent this over on Discord. This is Tony Capstick. Capstick comes home. I don't have a clue what this is. I don't know if it's part of a sitcom, stand-up, if it's if it's some kind of a sports legend thing, if it's music, if it's... I don't even know. But I'm going to give it a whirl. I seriously have no idea what's beyond this black screen. So let's see together what's beyond the black screen. If you're new here, hit the subscription button. Come on back and check out some more reactions. Here we go. On Beyond the Black Screen is... Oh. Music. I'll never forget that first day at Pitt. Me and my father worked a 72-hour shift, and then we walked home 43 miles through snow in his bare feet. Huddled inside his clothes made out of old sacks. Eventually, we trudged over hill until we could see street light twinkling in our village. My father smiled down at me through icicles hanging off his nose. Nearly home now, lad, he said. We stumbled into house and stood there freezing cold and tired out, shivering and miserable in front of meagre fire. Any road, my mum says, cheer up, lads. I've got you some nice brown bread and butter for your tea. It's a big family. He, my father, went crackers. He reached out and gently pulled my mum towards him, bit throat. You big, fat, idle, ugly wart, he said. You great, useless, spawny-eyed, parrot-faced wazzock. He had a way with words, my father. He'd been to college, you know. You've been out playing bingo all afternoon instead of getting some proper snap ready for me and this lad, he explained to me poor little purple-faced mam. Then turning to me, he said, Arthur? He could never remember my name. Here's A for Crown. Nip down to Chip Oil and get us a nice piece of haddock for us tea. Man cannot live by bread alone. <laughs> you were a rape day to me, father. He said, as our working folk should have some dignity and pride and self-respect, and as how they should come home to something warm and cheerful. And then he threw me mam on fire. We didn't have no tellies or shoes or bedclothes. We made his own fun in them days. Do you know when I were a lad you could get a tram down into town? Buy three new suits and an overcoat, four pair of good boots, go and see George for me at Palace Theatre, get blind drunk, have some steak and chips, a bunch of bananas and three stone of monkey nuts, and still have change out in a farthing. We'd lots of things in them days they haven't got today. Rickets, diphtheria, <laughs> Hitler, and by, we did look well going to school with no backside in his trousers and all his little heads painted purple because we had ringworm. They don't <laughs> know the bone today. Wow. I don't know what that was. <laughs> all right. So I was looking at the message from Nick and he was saying as a, Nor a Yorkshireman, this is classic. Um, a classic song, but I didn't hear much of a song there. But there was definitely some music in the background. I had to read the context. Um, it was an interesting story. I thought he said he threw his mother in the fire. That was interesting. Uh, if you look at that picture of that family, all the kids look just like the mom. That was really weird. And, um, yeah, I think he sent the kid for some haddock. And uh, the kids had ringworm. This whole story was really odd. It was just an odd story. So we'll track this up to odd stories. Uh, tell me what I missed. <laughs> I'm sure it was a lot. It was a cool story, though. The guy that walked 43 miles, bare feet in the snow. So many things I want answers for, and I just don't know. Well, uh, it was a cool story. I don't even know. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Until next time. I'm out. <laughs>